loss. I mean, I think I sum it up for a lot of Shots fans today when I say that I'm absolutely gutted, but really, really proud of the side out there today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm obviously disappointed in speaking to them in the dressing room uh, when we've lost at the best of times is tough. So speaking to them there was really tough. It's hard to to try and be positive and and be look on the bright side of things when everyone just is so disappointed and we come so close, but. Of course, like you say, super proud. I'm super proud of them all of the time, and they're a great bunch, and they, 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 they give a lot for this club, and they give a lot for me as a manager as well. So I can't speak speak highly enough of them, really. And I'm, I'm of course, disappointed for them. I think when Wrexham go two 0 up against a lot of sides, it's very often, well, very rare that they'll probably see a fight back. And we did. We we went even two down again when they made it three one, but there we were again fighting back into the game. Is that something you're really, you know, pleased to see? Yeah, of course. I think um, there's, there's there's probably maybe a few months ago we might not have we might not have got that back and we might have folded or felt a little bit sorry for ourselves and we didn't and we carried on going and I thought second half the, the move to the three five two uh, really really helped us. We, we, we were man for man in that four three 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 first half and, and the chaos was was entertaining and good, but I don't think we could quite control it. So. The one v ones all over the pitch were really difficult for us, but um, moving into that three five two, um, second half of maybe going man for man on our wing backs and, and putting two up front certainly helped us. And we were the better side second half before we were really unlucky and to concede that at the end with Hadji going off, it was probably one of our most important more important players in, in sort of defending set pieces. Um, disappointing, but yeah. Of course, scoring three goals is, is definitely something to take forward as well. You know. Can argue again. We, we haven't seen that replacement for any yet, but again, Jake coming in with another goal and well, three goals today, so it's really good. Yeah, it's costly. I mean, it's important that we're a team, and um, the team is, is, is great than one player and more important than one player. And, and that's not a time to get anyone. That's just saying if, if we're a good side, we don't have the riches of these teams and we don't have the, the resources of these teams. So we have to find another way. And what better way is it to be than just be a really, really good team? So we were an excellent team today, and that's the subs included. And then maybe the boys who weren't involved as well, and they're just as important. So yeah, it's a level top. I'm super proud of them, but it is disappointing. It's disappointing to concede late and to get back in it. And I thought we fully deserved to be back in it. And to, three three would have been a real fair result. And, not to be. You say about how it's difficult to speak to the players. Can you give us a bit of an insight into what you do tell them? Because they're obviously hurting, but they, 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 like we've already said, they should be proud of themselves. Yeah, what can you tell them? I mean, I mean, pick themselves up, be positive. Oh, it's probably, I mean, th that's not a time for me to go on a rant and rave, and <laughs> you know, when, it, when there is, but I'm sure that might come. But uh, it just isn't that moment, and it's just about going in and looking at the positives, and, and even speaking to them there, they've, they've been positive, and yeah, of course, there's been a little bit disappointed. And, People think it's their fault, or whatnot. It's absolutely nobody's fault. Um, the uh, the um, it, is, it happens. That's football. That's the score the last minute. They're going to be tough to beat, and they're going to be tough to knock off the top if they keep playing playing like that because they have managed to grind out a result. And they're sort of teams that go on and do really well, or win titles, don't they? Do you take a lot of confidence from this now? How we did go toe to toe with probably one of the best sides this league's ever seen. We've gone toe to toe with many, 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 most of the teams since I've been here. A couple of games maybe we haven't. So it doesn't surprise. I, when I turned up here today, I thought we would surprise people. I was fully confident we would, um, and it doesn't surprise me that we nearly did. Um, the disappointing thing it was so close, and I don't want it to be a thing of all, oh, all the shots have conceded late. And, that's a typical old lot of shot. That, God, that's, I know, that's a whatever, a couple of million pound side. So um, it's unlucky a little bit at the end, but we'll go again. And the, the most important thing is that we um, we go on to Dagenham and we sort of lick our wounds and uh, we're positive as we can be and bounce into Dagenham because I, I spoke to you before these four games are tough, uh, really, really tough. And we nearly had two points out of the first two and we were nearly talking about one defeat in ten and that would have been absolutely unreal. So, Nothing really changes. Like we've have it, we're at one point less. The performance is good. Let's just crack on. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.